and we want to disable automatic maintenance tasks. Okay, so right here, this is the most imperative um, portion of the DBCA, in my opinion, because this is where you can specify how you would like your data files, your control files, and your read online redo log files laid out for your database. Okay, and um, actually, what I want to do is uh, let's go back here because there's something. Um, and this actually gives you a real world um, a real world uh, example here because you always use the back button and go back and double check things and redo things. Uh, for sake of this, um, this is the stuff that's usually ultimate that's um, selected for you by default if you choose custom database. If you chose an OLTP database or a data warehouse decision support system DSS database, um, certain options wouldn't be enabled for you. Okay, and certain parameters, as I mentioned before, would be used or not used. Okay, dependent. So, for sake of this presentation, though, I'm going to go ahead and um, disable uh, some features here, your standard database components. I don't want the JVM, I don't want XML. Uh, yes. Okay, so as that warning said, there's other uh, products that use that, features that use that, so there's dependencies there. I wouldn't recommend this in a real database, in a real database uh, DVCA configuration, okay, scenario. But uh, for sake of our, um, of our example here, I just want to get the database created for you. Um, I'm not going to select those. For space on my test system and time constraints, that's why. Um, but this also gives you the ability to uh, it also gives me the ability to show you uh, by doing this to show you um, how to go through and disable certain options okay again as a disclaimer I don't recommend doing that okay um, what I also want to do is I also want to go back here and I want to get rid of the finance three here and I'll show you why okay so if I look at my control file locations here, this is exactly where I want it to go. I want it to go to, it's going to go to, to uh, C colon slash, let me double check here. I think I may be thinking I'm in Unix here. Yes, I do. <laughs> C colon slash, I think I'm in Unix. Database or a data backslash, not forward slash. Okay. Control file. There we go, much better. So my control files here is gonna are gonna go in a C colon slash database or data and then the DB name, which is the variable. And as you can see, DB name will be finance three. Here are the values of the variable DB name. And it tries to fill it in for you to help you out. Okay. Uh, data files which make up the table space will all be in database or data, DB name, and then the name of the DBS. And here they all are one by one. And again, you won't have a directory called db underscore name. You'll have the db name finance. You'll have the value of db na underscore name, which is finance three, the variables. Okay, and your redo log groups, which are three groups, one member each, database or data, the name of the database. Okay. And uh, as you can see, I want to go back here. There are stressing right here um, the... Um, they're stressing right here uh, the best practice of multiplex and control files by making you do three. In a real environment, you'd put these on different partitions, D colon, E colon, F colon, or different file systems in the Oracle talk. Okay? Uh, redo logs, you'd have multiple members, which you could just add them by typing them in manually there, which is a nice feature. Okay? Okay, create database, you hit finish. And this right here is a nice little summary, which we're not installing any of those additional features up here, including the common features. And we come down here and we see that our control files are being database name or data, db name control 01, db name control 02, and db name control 03. And we come down here, we see db name here all for the control files and for the data files, here they all are under db name and our redo log files. Okay? So we can just go ahead and click finish and it will create database. 
And for the interest of time and YouTube video space, I am going to pause this and I will resume it once the uh, database creation is completed. Now, note under the covers, it's doing the create, it's executing the create database command, which creates our data dictionary base tables, tables that end with the dollar sign, um, and it's also going to execute after that the catalog.sql script, which creates the uh, data dictionary views the views that all begin with dba underscore user underscore and all underscore and it's also going to execute the cat proc that sql script which creates all the oracle supplied pl sql packages okay so i'll resume this video when the database has been created by dbca i just wanted to check in as you can see we are in the process of creating data dictionary views okay i'll resume when it's done Okay, and uh, it is 100% completed, and we get a little summary screen here that says database creation complete, and you can check the log files of this of these scripts that it ran in this location. And database information: global database name is finance three. The system identifier SID is is finance three, and it shows you the p file. Okay, so we hit exit, and we can go to database or a data finance oops sorry finance three and we can see our three control files our three readme log files and our um, five uh, dbf files okay and it's in c colon slash database or data finance three and we can set our oracle sid to finance three and log in by sql plus Select name to be dollar sign database finance three ensure that it's open that it's in read write mode and we will see select name from v dollar sign data file our data files in the correct place c colon slash database or data finance three select name from v dollar sign control file our control files are in the right location and our redo log files are in the right location. And we can go ahead and shut down the database just to prove that it shuts down and starts up cleanly. Closed, dismounted, and an instance shut down. And then we can do start it right back up. Instance started, mounted, and open. Okay, select name from the dollar sign database finance three. Okay, that's how you create an Oracle database using the DBCA, the GUI interface that utility that comes from uh, with Oracle. Or uh, you can view my another YouTube video where it just where it says how to what the title is how to create an Oracle database, and um, I show you how to do it the manual way by SQL plus command. Okay, thank you.